Hey guys, what's up? It's Nathan from Ubic Videos coming at you with another video here. Today we're going to be covering the topic of creating a wallet on Pyrus. Now, if you're not familiar with it, Pyrus is a fork of the My Ether Wallet code, which was created by some developers to uh, be a client side wallet for Ethereum. Uh, and what that means by client side, I mean that if you put your private keys into this website, the website doesn't actually process those private keys or save them or distribute them anywhere or anything like that. All of that data stays on the client, which in most cases is your browser. So there's very little risk of your private keys getting out there. It all comes down to making sure that the device that you run the Pyrus code or the My Ether Wallet code from uh, is secure. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to real quickly generate a wallet and that way you can kind of familiar, familiarize yourself with the interface a little bit and then once we get done with that uh, I'll create some more videos on how to do some other things with the wallets. Um, as I mentioned in a tweet earlier today the one of these videos I'll, I'll let you know which one is going to include some rewards uh, I'm not going to tell you how or you know how you're going to collect them, but if you watch these videos for the Pyrus wallets, uh, there's a good chance that you may be able to make some money on it. If you're coming into this months later, there's a pretty low likelihood that you're going to be able to get anything out of it. So just keep that in mind. The funds have probably already been uh, uh, distributed, let's say that. So anyway, let's dig in. Uh, you want to go to pyrus.ubixsmart.com. And that'll take you to this page here that you see now. And it's really simple. It dumps you right on the generate wallet page. So all you need to do is type a password into this field. So I'm just going to use testing one, two, three, four, five as my password. As you can see there, I do not recommend using this password. This is a very terrible password, but for the sake of demonstration, so I don't use too complex of a password and confuse everybody or you know use one of my own passwords I'm just gonna use testing one two three four five so if you click as you saw there if you click this that'll show your password uh, again just doing that for demonstrational purposes so now once you got your password typed in just click on generate wallet and it's gonna give you a warning um, down here just go ahead and read that and it's just letting you know that you have to save the information like you have to save the file and you have to save your password and you need to do that in a secure location um, because this isn't like some wallet services where they actually retain your private keys your private keys are not owned by Pyrus they're not anywhere on Pyrus so you have to back your data up so now all you need to do is click on download here and you'll see that that downloads a file with UTC at the front of it I'm just going to go ahead and open that file up. Uh, actually, that's not going to work. Let me let me go to downloads, and then let's see UTC. Where did that one go? It was created 6:11, so it's this one. So I'm just going to open it up in Notepad so you guys can see the contents of it. And let me format this a little bit so you can see everything. All right, so what we've got here is the actual version number of the wallet. Uh, this is the address that is in the wallet or that you would like send your funds to. So it's like the account number or address. Uh, and then the rest of this is all just to do with encrypting the private keys. So based on us typing in that password, it generated some parameters. And now the the actual private keys that themselves, which you don't ever want to share with anybody, those are now encrypted. And so if anybody were to just get a hold of this file, they couldn't really do anything with it unless they also had your password. And that's why it's important to pick a secure password, because if you just use the password testing one, two, three, four, five, and somebody got a hold of your private key file, this file right here, it would take hardly any time at all for them to be able to crack into it and steal your funds. So that's what's inside the file. 
And that's all there is to it, guys. That's that's how simple it is to create a wallet. You can now take that address from within that file and send funds to it. Um, I think, yeah, okay, if I click understand and continue, it also shows this information. This is your private key in plain text. Again, you don't want to share that with anybody. This is just for demonstrational purposes, so don't use that key. Uh, this is it in QR form. And then if you want, you can hit print, and that'll give you this nice uh, Ubic template for printing out a paper wallet file or paper wallet. So that's all there is to it. And in the next videos, we'll get into some more of the functionality of this website. Hopefully that helped you out though. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. If there's anything I missed, please mention it in the comments. Or if you have any questions, mention it in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as possible. Thanks guys. Take it easy.